What's good, Commanders fans, or as I should say, Commanders fans, we have signed another, <clears throat> excuse me, former Panther. Ron Rivera has made another move to sign another former Panther and a former Bills player, F.A. Obata. Um, so I'm going to be doing a lot of reading here because, you know, um, he's a rotational guy. He offers position flex. Uh, and he had an interesting, inspiring story coming from um, Nigeria. He's born in Nigeria through the inter. He play he's playing in the NFL through the international pathway program. The same thing as David Bada. The same thing as Sammy Reyes. So Ron Rivera definitely looks out for guys uh, coming through the international pathway program. <clears throat> um, he was the first international player to go straight from a European league to the NFL. Um, also, he's 29 years old, born in 1992. Um, Played for the London Warriors as well. Um, at the age of 10, he and his sister were trafficked into England and were left homeless as soon as they arrived in London. They initially slept in an office block before living in 10 different foster homes. He eventually worked as a security guard at Grace Foods in uh, Winland, Wellwind Garden City. In 2014, Obata began playing for the London Warriors of the British American Football Association National Leagues. He appeared in five games, playing at tight end and defensive end. Then at Carolina, he um, he won the uh, NFC Defensive Player of the Week. Um, let me see, let me find it here. Um, yeah, he he got a sack and one interception in the game. He was later awarded the game ball from Ron Rivera and was named the NFC Defensive Player of the Week. He finished the season with a with eight combined tackles and two sacks. Um, so he plays defensive tackle and defensive end. So he plays he has he offers position flex as Ron Rivera loves so much. So, you know, we let go of Tim Settle, or we let Tim Settle go to the Bills. We released Matt Ioannidis. So, you know, he is basically going to be a filling guy or a replacement for Matt Ioannidis and Tim Settle. He is going to be a death piece behind Deron Payne, behind John Allen, uh, behind those guys. Um, you watch him with the Bills. He had two sacks on Cam Newton when he just played this past season with the Panthers and 20 with the Bills. And then in 2019, he had, um, or actually, I'm sorry, in 2020, he had two and a half sacks. He had five and a half sacks, which is really, really solid production there. Five and a half sacks, a couple tackles for loss as well, and a couple quarterback hits. So, yeah, he had, and yeah, in 2020, he had four tackles for loss and um, 18 tackles combined and five and a half sacks, which is solid. That's a good season. Um, I watched him. When we played him, uh, when we played the Panthers, when Dwayne Haskins was the starting quarterback, he was getting he had a couple swim moves and got past Brandon Sheriff and um, created some pressure on Dwayne Haskins in that game when we did play against the Carolina Panthers. Um, he had three and a half sacks in 2021 with the Buffalo Bills, so he has produced. He has put up some solid numbers as a backup, rotational, depth, defensive tackle, or pass rusher. So he offers that position flex and versatility there. So I think it's a good depth signing. It's not a big name. But um, it's, it's a it's a good it's a good um, depth signing there. Once again, familiar there familiarity with Ron Rivera. He's you know 20, he's twenty nine years old. He's a big guy, 6'6", 265 pounds. So he's a big guy. Came from the international pathway. Came from uh, a tough upbringing. And we do need dogs on the roster. We do need guys. We do need tough guys. Played. He was a security guard as well. Big fella, six foot six, two hundred sixty five pounds. Security guard. Played on five different NFL teams before. So he's grinded, worked his way up to get here. So um, they have not released the details of the contract yet, but, you know, it's probably not going to be for, you know, for much. So um, there it is right there. He had, he had eight quarterback hits in 2021 as well. So solid signing. I have nothing um, negative to say about this. I think it's a good signing. Um, familiar there once again with Ron Rivera. Now, other nuggets from per John Kime, they are in talks with Cornelius Lucas. They are getting close to a deal with uh, bringing Cornelius Lucas back. Um, you know, he's 30 years old. So he played really well for us in 2020 as well. When we did uh, win the NFC East in 2020, he had an 83.1 pass blocking grade, which was tied for 10th in the league among tackles and allowed a 4.9 a pressure rate, which was 18th. So um, he was solid. And he was the highest grade offensive tackle in week 11 when we did beat the Panthers. So um, Cornelius Lucas, he, he he's a good, solid backup tackle, swing tackle. When injuries happen, he stepped in for Sam Cosme. When injuries happened the year before, you know, Morgan Moses, he stepped in for him, stepped in for other guys last year. Charles, you know, whenever guys were out injured, 
Cornelius Lucas, you know, he's not perfect, but he's a solid signing. I think he's a good depth piece and he's a, he's a great swing tackle. So in other news, <clears throat> Chris Olav, there's reports that Ron Rivera, there's pictures showing Ron Rivera having a long conversation with Chris Olav. Now, a nugget too from Ben Sandick was that Ron Rivera did not attend the pro days for Kenny Pickham and Malik Willis, but he was actually there in person talking to Chris Olav and talking to Garrett Wilson. Now this does, it does tell me something. It does give some uh, nuggets here for the draft that Ron Rivera will be going hard at a wide receiver, which I 100% agree with. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice a little bit, but <clears throat> but I 100% agree that we should get a wide receiver at pick 11, in my opinion. Now, I know if Kyle Hamilton drops, you got to think about that, or Sauce Gardner, guys like that. But in my opinion, I'm just on team help Carson Wentz. I want to see Carson Wentz be successful. Am I the biggest fan of trading for Carson Wentz? No, I'm not. But I understand that Carson Wentz has talent, and he's good enough to win at least nine or ten games if you can get him help, if you can get him another wide receiver. You know, Terry McLaurin's healthy the whole time. He can he can win with Terry McLaurin. Cam Sims is another big receiver. He talked about that today, that Carson Wentz likes to throw to big receivers. Now, <coughs> excuse me, Garrett Wilson and Chris Olaf, they're not the biggest guys in the world, but they know how to create separation. They both got bounce. They got bunnies. They're really good at contested catches. They're really good at breaking tackles. They're yak guys. They're always after the catch guys. And, of course, the familiarity with Terry McLaurin, both Ohio State guys, Curtis Samuel, another Ohio, Ohio State guy. So we would have three Ohio State guys in our starting lineup at wide receiver, which would be, which would be crazy, just crazy talent. I just want to get talent. And I know Drake London, he's an option there. Traylon Burks is an option. But honestly, I like guys that can separate better than, you know, get, just go up and get it, guys, you know. Now, Drake London is going to be good. Traylon Burks is going to be good. But I just think for this team, I think it would be better for guy, to get a guy that can create separation. And Garrett Wilson is a guy that can certainly do that. Chris Olav is a guy that can certainly do that as well. Chris Olav just put up big numbers. Same thing with Garrett Wilson. You know, you, you already know what these guys can do. But it is telling that Ron did attend and he had long conversations with Chris Olav. So it looks, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. He could be making a smoke screen or whatever. But it looks like he's really leaning towards Chris Olav, which I wouldn't be mad with either one. I would not be mad. I would be very happy if we got Chris Olav or if we got Garrett Wilson at pick 11. I would love both of them. For Carson Wentz, we would have speed and guys that can separate. You can just hit them on a slant. And they're going to take it for another 30 yards because they can break tackles. Garrett Wilson is just mean with it. Stiff arming guys, pushing guys to the ground. I just love the swag of Garrett Wilson. That's why I kind of like Garrett Wilson a little bit more than um, Chris Olav. That's the guy who I like the most out of all the guys at pick 11. I actually like Garrett Wilson more than Drake London and, and Traylon Burks, in my opinion. I just like how he can separate and get open, just push guys around. Even though he has that skinny frame, I just think he has the whole package as a wide receiver, just in my opinion from watching Garrett Wilson. So, but that's all the news for today. Not much. I mean, we'll run, sign more guys. You know, we'll see. Um, we got it. We still got to get a linebacker. Um, DeAndre Carter, are we going to re-sign him? That's a question mark as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, DeAndre Carter, are we going to re-sign him? You know, are we going to get a veteran linebacker who's out there? You know, Alexander Johnson from the Broncos. I know he plays 3-4. Joe Schobert from the, um, from the uh, Steelers. Um, who else is out there? Kaiser White from the Chargers. You know, those are some options. I think Anthony Walker Jr. got re-signed and A.J. Klein from the Panthers. Those are some linebackers just to look at. I don't think we're going to sign a tight end, to be honest. I think he believes in Sammy's Reyes. I think he believes in um, John Bates and, of course, Logan Thomas coming back healthy. But once again, I think F.A. Obata, I think it's a solid signing. I would look out for the guy from the Bills, Stefan uh, Tulutule. I'm probably butchering his last name who was on the Bills, who got released, the defensive tackle. I would take a look. I would be surprised if Ron Rivera tried to sign him. But like once I said, like uh, like I said before, we are the Washington Commanders, and I guess you can add the Buckeyes to that too. But aren't you guys? Salute to the Commanders. Hail to the football team. Hail to the Commanders. Commanders, peace.